Hello there, my friend. Happy Chelsea Day. Mm -hmm. People are going to ask me, what the hell is Chelsea Day? Well, if you are young enough in the community and you don't know, we won our first Champions League on this day, May the 19th, 2012. We beat Bayern Munich at their own stadium, their own backyard. Nothing really worked for Chelsea Football Club. John Terry suspended Ramirez. He was suspended or injury or something. No Ivanovic. David Luiz playing on one leg. Luiz took pain medication just to try to cop a little bit because we didn't have anybody else to play in that place. That's why I always respect David Luiz a lot. We had a very aging squad at the end of their cycle. Didier Droba, almost 34 years old. Frank Lampa, getting older. I mean, I can go on and on, but we managed that day to beat prime Bayern Munich. If you think Bayern Munich of last season were, you know, the best team in the world and all that, think again, because back then, Manuel Neuer was on his prime. I don't know. He was like 24 years old or so. If you go with Boateng, was in on top of his art. Not the Boateng that uh, Leo Messi destroyed. <laughs> you know what I mean? So you had those uh, Philip Lambs and... Man, I can go on and on. The great, One of the greatest Bayern teams ever built. But we beat them with... Uh, a broken Chelsea team. So the the 19th of May, you know, nine in it, and we're gonna play our final on the 29th. So can you see here nine nine? So nine is a good number for Chelsea Football Club. <laughs> I'm joking here because I don't believe on those stupid superstition things because people told us oh because arsenal beat us that means we were going to win the fa cup and the champions league right but we lost the fa cup so it doesn't matter man those things are just a feel good factor they don't really play anything in real life and um you know you have to actually play on the field you have to be on your day really to win a final so yeah i am very confident that we can do it and we will do it we will win but not because of what happened in 2012 or not because of the numbers and all the all the superstition that people want us to believe no don't believe on those things you have to work hard to make things happen you know it's not going to happen from heaven if you don't shoot the ball the ball is not going at the back of the net but if you shoot the ball in the box anything can happen a deflection okay a, a a handball and you get a penalty something can happen okay so you have to make your own luck that's what i'm trying to say here so uh we're gonna do it this season but it's not because of uh, what people are making us to believe we have a great team we're just missing somebody to uh to finish our chances and um Timo Werner on that day you you need your shooting box shooting box shooting boot from high school or something because you need to score brother when you got your chance you have to score Serve, serve my friend. That is going to bring me to talking about Frank Lampard. Congratulations to the legend himself, Frank Lampard, for being inducted to the Hall of Fame, the Premier League Hall of Fame, to be precise. After Ala Shearer and Cherry Ari, Frank Lampard is the third player in the Premier League to be inducted in the Hall of Fame. That tells you everything you want to know about Frank Lampard. You can call him whatever you want. You can hate him, call him whatever name you want. Fat Frank and overrated and the, the worst thing that happened to Chelsea Football Club. Blah, 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 blah. But people who know football know exactly who Frank Lampard is. 
a legend as a player and a legend as a manager. I don't care about what you're gonna say about Frank Lampard as a manager. I know it's not a popular opinion. I know it's not uh, a good thing to do or to say for business reasons. I know this is not going to give you subs, not going to give you likes, not going to make you money because Frank Lampard is the most hated person in the Chelsea history according to the couch expert. And uh, I know that. I know that it's going to bring me a lot of hate, dislikes, and people are going to unsubscribe and all that. I know that. I know exactly what I'm doing. And I am not going to sell my soul just to get subs and money, brother. Lampard is a legendary manager for me because of what he was able to do. Nobody, the so-called legendary managers, top class managers didn't want to take Chelsea over when we were in crisis and we couldn't sign anybody. So that tells you exactly that uh, those so-called top managers are just paycheck managers. They won't be able to develop any player without money. You give them money, they buy a bunch of players and they try to win immediately. But for me, I am an old school guy. Okay, I believe in long-term project. So I might be very different than the young generation. You know what I mean? I believe that if Frank Lampard was given at least until the end of his contract, he was going to turn things around. You're not going to convince me otherwise. And I'm not trying to convince you too. I respect your opinion. If shortcut, buying, sucking, getting result immediately is the way you see football i respect that unfortunately people don't respect my opinion because they think i have to please them but i'm not here to please people i don't believe in managers that buy success that would take credit out of somebody's work you know you assemble a very expensive team you buy people's work and take all the credit. I don't believe in them. I just believe in people who can develop players, who have a long-term project and do something out of it. That is my opinion, but I also respect your opinion if you believe that uh, buying immediate success is the way to go. So, Frank Lampard, respect man, respect.